Welcome to Lecture 9 of Biology 116 entitled Plant Anatomy. In this lecture, after we've established the previous ideas of plant diversity, both in Plant Diversity 1 and 2, we're going to now be looking at the real physical structure of a plant, and of course, with structure always comes, then look at function. So in order to begin, we're going to first be looking at the basic organization of a plant, specifically in regards to its anatomy. What is the anatomical organization of a plant? This anatomical organization can be first classified as whether or not, or the idea that the organization of plants are in systems, mainly two systems, which are going to be the root systems. Those are going to be those that are below the ground. More on this later. We're going to elaborate as we move forward. This is a general overview. And then there's also going to be the shoots system. So we have roots and shoots in plants. These are going to be anything that is above ground. So there's going to be a system above ground and below ground. Things that are above ground are things you would typically see in a plant. And that would be something like a stem. Uh, the leaves also classify as part of the shoots system. And also something like a flower if you're looking at an angiosperm, let's say. So that's our basic sort of systemic overview, our systemic organization of plants, roots and shoots. Now, the system themselves, as classified like this, can also be sort of uh, looked at or expanded upon by stating the following. The systems of plants are comprised of the following. So let's write this down as comprised of dot, dot, dot. And a couple of different uh, compositions uh, are going to be involved here. First, we're going to start at the smallest level, essentially. A system initially starts off as a bunch of cells, as we know. And cells are obviously the basic functional unit of life. And they are still going to be, in plants, the basic functional unit, therefore. So everything works off of cells. Cells are going to collect together into one cohesive functioning system uh, eventually after you have this hierarchical buildup. The next sort of step would be to look at the tissues, right? A bunch of cells next to each other combined together are tissues. Tissues are simply, as we've stated many times before, a group of like cells, cells that are similar in terms of structure and function, um, and I like to consider tissues things that have a cumulative function, meaning that all the cells work together in, uh, in a cohesive manner to really perform a specific function cumulatively, okay? So we have like cells and then cumulative function in tissues. Nothing new here. Now, the part that's sort of new that we have to look at in plant anatomy is the fact that plants generally have roots and shoots, right? But within those roots and shoots are subsystems, and those are called tissue systems. There are specifically three tissue systems that we're going to be focusing on in this lecture. The three tissue systems are as follows, in order of what we'll cover. And the first tissue system will be the dermal tissue system. After that, we'll look at the vascular tissue system. And then finally, we will also be looking at the ground tissue system. So there's no direct particular order in terms of what comes first, what comes second, what comes third. This is just a general way most people learn the tissue systems, dermal, vascular, and ground. Now, dermal is simply going to be, for right now, all we'll say it's a plant covering, nothing more, nothing less. That's all we need to know in this basic overview of organization. So the dermal tissue system is a plant covering. The vascular tissue system is a system that provides support. As we've seen in previous lectures, any sort of vascularized plant has a nice upright tall structure, and that's because of the vascular system. In addition, not only do we have support, but with that support comes a very important function of conduction conduction or movement of material through the plant. So that's a very important vascular function of material through plant. So we have to go from part A of the plant to part B. How do we do it? We use a vascular tissue system to conduct the material. And then finally, in the ground tissue, this is going to be very important. Uh, many functions are going to be within the ground tissue system. Uh, basic functions you can think of are things like photosynthesis will be occurring here. Uh, storage and support as well. So three basic functions that we'll elaborate on as we move forward with this lecture. So this is going to be more info to come later. Furthermore, 
when we take these systems and see the tissue systems that are within the larger systems, these are all going to sort of encompass themselves and sort of accumulate into one larger structure, which is of course going to be cells, tissues, the next obvious thing would be, yes, organs. And plant organs, so we're looking at anatomy of plants, right? So it's like we have organs and we, look, we have our own anatomy. Plants have organs in their own anatomy. The thing about organs that's interesting, of plants specifically, is that all the organs contain all three tissue systems. So any plant organ that is being studied has all three tissue systems within it. So these basic example of this could be things like the stems, that's a specific organ, the roots are a specific plant organ, the leaves are also um, flowers and fruits if you're looking at angiosperms, etc. All of these physical, very visible macro structures of plants known as organs have all three tissue systems within them. This is what we're going to be looking at in the next couple of flow charts after we finish this overview. Finally, last thing about this organization, take a look at figure 35.8. This is a nice summary of all three tissue systems. I want you to notice that in every single part of the plant, in every single organ of the plant, what do we see? every single tissue system. It's a nice color-coded figure to see that. So this is our basic overview, and now we'll move forward by looking at these organs in more detail.